As Colombians prepared to vote, the military was on alert. No less than three guerrilla groups had threatened to disrupt the presidential election. Some election officials were kidnapped and a bomb killed three people. And as President Samper arrived to kick off the voting in Bogota, the military said that by Colombian standards, the disruption was relatively normal. Other polls indicate a three-way race. Samper, who can't stand again, called on Colombians to turn out in strength to support the ruling Liberal Party's candidate, former Interior Minister Horacio Serapa. But the ballot is expected to be close. Colombians demanding action to halt corruption, violence and unemployment. All candidates have vowed to fight drug trafficking. Pollsters indicated a narrow victory in this first round for Conservative Party candidate Andres Pastrana. But the 50-year-old delicate balance of power between the two major Colombian political parties could be upset by an independent, Naomi Sanin. Analysts say she aims to force a runoff and that she could easily win it and change the face of Colombian politics.